Miz is trying to flee. Adam Pierce shows up. Miz says, I hurt my hand again. Adam Pierce goes, That's not even the right hand. And Miz goes, Yeah, it's my left hand. Pierce goes, You know what I'm saying? It's the wrong hand. So anyway, he uh, vows that he must go out tonight, and Miz wants he's going to threaten a lawsuit because Pierce is making him go out there. So we have an anything goes match. It's Dexter Loomis versus the Miz. It went nine fifty five. I believe eight fifty five was Dexter Loomis beating the shit out of Miz all over the place. And then he uh, hit an elbow drop through a table on the outside. Miz got one near fall after he dropped him on an exposed buckle and rolled him up, but Loomis kicked out. And then Loomis just put him in his head and arm and submitted him, and he won his his uh, his deal. He goes over, he signs his contract, he's given the bag full of money, which is all in cash, by the way. He then starts going around and he's handing out $100 bills to the fans. Only to little kids. He gives his $100 bill to this little kid. And uh, all of a sudden, Miz jumps him from behind, and Miz goes over, and he steals a $100 bill from this little kid, and people are furious. And he got some heat for this one. But then, as he uh, steals the money, out comes Johnny Gargano. He beats up the Miz. Miz takes a bump, holding on to the money. Gargano gets the money. All the fans are pointing to the kid. Johnny Gargano gives the kid the $100 bill back. Everyone's happy. And I got to say, like, you know what I, what, what I did like about this is... They, they built it up for a long time, and they paid it off in the end. Now, the actual story is preposterous, and th- a lot of the stuff they did with Miz and Loomis sucked. But at the end of the day, they paid it off, and they okay. gave it a happy ending, and a kid got $100. A couple Fine. kids got couple Can we move on now, though? Okay, I'm ready to move on. Here, well, the fans were ready to move on before the match ever started for something that had been built up for months. With a long, elaborate storyline. They were in the ring, and except for the table spot, that crowd was dead. But that's the point. Building something up is only effective if it doesn't suck. (laughs) You can build something up for five years, and if it sucks, no one's going to care at the end. Well, the people didn't, but that's the point. They did not care about this. It's the Miz and Dexter Loomis with a fake bag of money and a hand he hurt doing a fucking TikTok. This was not the best story they've ever done. No. But no, at but least the, they had a beginning, middle, and end and paid it off. I'll give yeah. them that much. Yeah, but the crowd was dead. Yeah. I mean, and the only thing, they didn't care about Dexter Loomis winning. When he won, there was no big pop. The only thing they wanted was, you know, as tables. soon as they, they wanted tables, they gave them tables, and people popped for the table, which is, you know, it is what it is, and everyone does. I mean, it's like the whole psychology now of, of these um, you know, the different offshoots of no DQ matches, essentially, you know, where, where can you weapons are allowed is as soon as people hear that man, that thing and every wrestler knows it, you build the whole match around the table spot. If you're a heel, you take away the table because the people want it and then they boo you. It's like and I mean, it's Unless fine. it's war games and then you're the heels and you bring the tables into the ring during the women's war games match. Well, um, the happened. people, the, but, but the people wanted that though. The I know. People, so have the baby faces bring the tables in, not the heels. Well, Bailey it's... comes down. The first thing she does start throwing tables into the ring. Everyone's cheering her. I know. It's like why didn't it be? he had five baby faces to throw tables into the ring? I guess that I don't know what the reason is because, but the whole <sighs> thing is, it's like, I mean, I'm not, you know, it's just, a, it's just a different thing. I mean, and it's okay, you know, it's like whatever the fans want is what the fans want, and that's like uh, you got to learn from that. And they have, you know, it's like I watch these matches, and it's like they're building this entire match around the freaking tables because they know that the tables are always going to get the pop, and that's what they did here. It's like everything was about they knew the fans were going to chant for tables. I don't, I don't know that they knew the fans weren't going to care about the match because they did not care about this match at all. And um, after all of that build. You know, um, I don't know. I don't know about, you know, the problem is, is, okay, now Loomis is on the roster. Now what do you do with him? I mean, he's... It's a great question. I mean, it's but like I don't have an answer. You know, I'm... You know, it's like, you know, Miz, Miz really is good in that type of a role as far as, like, you know, the... the, the he was really good in these skits. But, but again, with Miz, one of the issues with Miz is sometimes is he, he's really great at talking and he's really great at doing skits. But once the match starts, um, that doesn't mean because he's so good at that that the people want to see him wrestle. And, I mean, I think that that was – I know he did the whole thing, the, the heel, you know, trying to get out of the match, all the little tricks, you know, to get heat. And when the match starts, they just didn't care.
The Thank WWE you. legendary joke, joke book. book. Why do WWE superstars' fingers hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Why Grin. were Gene Erkerlund's pants always so angry? Erkerlund? <laughs> Where does Beth Phoenix shop online? Amazon? The Glamazon! Oh, yeah. Yep. No. No. I mean, no. <laughs> no, that is the answer. <laughs> Glamazon. That's what I said. <laughs> you said Gramazon. No, I said Glamazon. <laughs> oh, there should be a Gramazon. <laughs> yeah, Gramazon, actually. <laughs> you get, like, puppy you get it to you real slow. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.